Hello there today. Oh, hello there, everyone. I'm not been I I not been uploading. Well, I have. Well, I work. Let's see. Tuesday, which is not for me. However, I'm gonna gonna slow down some of my videos because for a few days I'm working. I'm gonna be saucy. Anyways, today we're gonna talk about the long shot, the egg shot long shot. Yes, that's the oh, there's a Final Fortune back from Nerf, but they used the name of it for a good reason. Now I think it's like the bull pup. If you know what that is, in a, in a firearms term, a bull pup is where pretty much a magazine goes into the back of the gun instead of the front, in front of the trigger. Kinda is mandatory, but it's easier to explain it. And they got to link all of it together so it gets a fire from the back of the gun. So it turns out, yes. <clears throat> and yes, this does come off for a good reason. The barreling is actually pretty cool. I took that off for a reason. So in case you have another barrel like this, that's how you go for it. But the barrel is actually threaded. Which is fantastic. But you do have a muscle too. I really like how it looks. And these things do slide off easily. So you take it off and if you have a scope or anything for it, do so. I just like to put it in the front and back like a regular rifle. And that thing right here does slide up and down. I don't know if it does much. And yes, you can see the inside of it. It is, it's really a loud gun. Lock, it's on. If it's on this side, it's on lock. If it's on this side and push in, it's locked. I'll get to that in a bit. The stock does thin, which I need that anyways for me. So it has three areas. Which makes sense. But the stock is really steady. For my arms, I need a full length them. It's I'm not that really good. I'll put it lock for a reason. And as you saw, God, it is a little hard to slide. It is, as you saw, a springer. Like I said, it's pretty fucking loud. Now, and they come in two different size magazines. They come with a full size magazine, holds 15 rounds in it. But I thought we were gonna nerf mags. And drums. So we'll slide in. And yeah, this is your mechanism to pull the mag out. Is that it works? If you keep pressing, if you keep pressing a little bit. Then you have a half length mag. 15 rounds too. Now you need this thing right here, which help you use the half plate thing. You cannot just shove this in on its own. There's no way how that works. So you gotta shove this in here. And so what it is. Now this right here, if you notice them, you can't see this one, is for this. You can do it like that also. It only works for this one. It can't work with a full neck magazine. So it stops it. But only half thing mags to work on. What I love. I love I love holding this. So for like an MP5 mag. That's it'd be awesome they made to have um a MP5 kind of build. I would love that for real. But yeah, pretty simple. And right here you can see it's a see-through And the barrel right here on the inside is uh, aluminum. So it's actually a good, it's actually pretty good. Put magazine now for a damn reason. I have over, uh, normally comes with I think 20 rounds of, of flame darts, but I bought this at Big Lots and I had these all back. So I have a whole lot. Like I said, these things go to team. These things are worth getting though. It's a little floppy. 
I put one around then because I'm not a fucking idiot. Locked and loaded. Let's turn my camera over here. Now let's aim at it's an I'm left handed that issue with me. But even if it's loaded, you can still put the magazine out. Three, two, one. You did see that thing swing around. Right it hits pretty hard for half the dart. And from what you know, if you've got a corner grab, it, it can hit up to uh, 150, uh, 150 to 170. On on those, actually. But if you do a full length dart, so. And yeah, I'm using Euro. Full length, like you sure. I'm putting my entrance in case. It's so powerful from what you know. I think I think she's 130, I think. And yeah, I can see low I guess I can see bumps actually. No joke. It is powerful. Now, you might be thinking, they've been out for a while now. Two months actually. You might be thinking, oh, how much does it cost? So how much did you pay for this? Well, you can pay 30 bucks for this. Do you get a powerful something like this? To get to me of this power, it would maybe cost you maybe to 100, maybe 80 to 100 bucks custom. But this is stock. No modifications or anything to it myself. I'm not good at that stuff yet. I don't know how to do it. However, people have mod this thing where you get to 250. So basically, MO's 300. But if it's 100, I'd be afraid. But for what it is, it's a good thing. And the thing is fucking loud. I'm not joking. It is like it echoes. Like it is pretty much a loud gun for what it is. But it's simple side out. But I will say my favorite part about this gun is that if you take this part out right here. You can put a Mega XO dart on here. I'm not joking. So apparently you can put it on here and make a nuke tube. I don't know if you have to put a dart in. I'm not sure if you have to. I'm not really sure about that. But if you do, then eh. But if you don't, you barely make a grenade launcher without making a launcher. So basically, you can take out, so barely, you got a magazine on you. Not a gun, but you said, boom. Then put your magazine in, and then you're good to go fire. And the thing does have slam fire. Beautiful as it is. So would you ever fight this? I know I did. Was it worth it? Yeah. Because I know how to do a bull pup. To basically pull out the magazine from the back of the gun. I'm used to doing the middle part. So I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Doing this one, some of that. Peace out.